Oh wait, I'm sorry. Hi guys, Freaky Fishka here with another deck profile from Locals. Here we have Shannon who just made top eight at Locals with pure mate nights. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, take it away. Okay, so start with three purple nightfall. Yep. It's the searcher and well, it's one of the searchers and it's also dodges card effects. Very good, um, best one. And it's level eight. Um, next is three blue sky. Up a um, bit. Up a bit. There you go. Um, the best searcher adds up to the amount of cards in its column from your opponent, so normally two, if not three, if you're lucky. What do you search with usually? Whichever ones you don't have in hand. Yep. Yeah. Um, then two Indigo Eclipse. He's a movie boy, he moves columns, so you can reuse the columns that you've reused or use different effects later in the deck. Mm -hmm. um, also level eight, so you can make Ding Gear, so using him in purple. Two red pops a monster in its column by banishing a Mech Knight from Graveyard. Uh, just monster removal, you need different names for the blue sky. Woods was running one green but never used it, two red is much better. Yep. One yellow, back row removal, same as red moon effect just for back row instead. Yep. And also 2-8 defense, sod ball. Abram. Normal summon. Normal summonable, 2k beta, make Link Spider with it. Uh, so it makes a column on its own, can also be used with key and secrets later in the, uh, later in the deck to block monster effects and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, free nib, because nib. <laughs> Did that come up a lot today? Yeah. Every time I drew it, it came up. Uh, free ash, still good. Got to be a secret round. Got to be a secret round. Uh, MVP of the deck, free Iperia. When it's normal time, just draw one card. It doesn't sound too good, but you can make an Almirage with it, set a card underneath the Almirage, that's your column, that's your first turn plays there. Um, this deck is built to be versatile, this is one of the main reasons it can do that. It can go first with this, basically. Yeah, yeah. first or second. Um, two Gamma Seal, because you're built to go second for the first game, yep. and you can, you can go first as well if needed to with this build, though. Um, two Tenny Spirit for Shooter. Um, it's a bounce, and also it does have column on its own again. So not the best songs, it doesn't plus you very much going first, but if all else, you can do it. And then onto the spells. Two Desires, so I'm going to draw a third. Yep. Two guys to Cyclone, because it's set a special summon into its column, and then you can activate it to pop a spell trap. Nice. And it's also got the graveyard effect as and well. And the graveyard effect, which for zombies becoming a thing, very useful. Oh yeah, don't think of that. Uh, two instant fusion. Restrict is good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, restrict makes the column. I mean, restrict and... makes column by adding by taking as well. Yep. Uh, two mind control. Already banless, ready. Yeah. So this is obviously for today, which is from the old banless as yeah. such. Um, but yeah, this is. Was there anything in this deck that needs to change for the banless? Uh, no. 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 20, it, it's 2020 viable. January Mech Knight profile without even thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, one more legacy succession. Oh, so next. So all the more legacy cards are searchable by the link to. Yes, we run this over uh, Monster Reborn because at least it's searchable. Slightly better. Mm -hmm. Free War Legacy Memory. Yep. Special Summon Mech Knight from deck that's in defense. You can only special Mech Knights after that, mm -hmm. but um, mainly try to use it in my opponent's turn to set up another column that's negated and can also use it to bring out Purple Knightfall. Purple Knightfall for a search, and when you go through your standby phase, that Purple Knightfall comes back and you've already got a search off it as well. So this also kind of lets you go first because you set up your like, Link 2, you set up the trap, and yeah. then you set this. Um, one more legacy key. Negates traps. Negates traps in the same column as a Mech Knight. Um, very good going second when you're up against Guru Geist. So you can just activate this, normal summon a couple columns, and set. Would you say maybe upping that if the format goes towards more back row decks? It's searchable, so at the moment it's fine because you definitely don't want to see it every match. It's only when you're up against one of those decks you want to see it. Yep. Um, too well, obviously, secret. The whole reason this deck can go first. Um, on activation, summon a level 5 or higher monster from in your graveyard, and then also it negates any effect monster effect that activates in the same column as a mech knight. Um, so normally your, your best bet is to try and bring back an indigo eclipse, so then that can roam around negating monster effects. Yep. Um, and also you can cover the two extra monster zones by your link 2, and then use this in their turn to real indigo eclipse, keep you on 4 summons, you yep. can't get nibbed. Um, nice. Yeah. MVP. Also, is there any level 5 or higher? So bring back Winter, bring back Scythe, Lancia, whatever you want. Loads of tech cards. Yeah.
Uh, extra deck. Extra deck. One monk of the tenue. Um, it's needed because of Fashuda. Yep. One Owl Mirage. For the Iperia. For the Iperias. Or if you have to, you can do it with hand traps. N yep, Normal Summon Ash, make this, make a column. I've done that a few times. Yep. Link Spider. Two reasons now. One, you can use it with Avram. Two, um, Nip Tokens. Yeah. Nip Token into Link Spider, make a column. Yeah, I never thought of that as well. Mm -hmm. Nightmare Phoenix is Nightmare Phoenix. You used it once today and that was going to Avramax anyway. Yep. Two Morning Star. This is another one of your searches. You discard a Mech Knight monster or one World Legacy card to add a World Legacy card from deck to hand. So this gets you secrets, key memories, and yeah, anything um, you need, anything, basically. Yeah. But it doesn't um, add another Mech Knight. A lot of people don't read this card as well for the. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't. I just, I just missed the effect that I use yeah. it for. Yeah. Also, um, monsters, Mech Knight monsters can only be destroyed by battle if the monster is in the same column as them, and you also take no battle damage from those battles if it's not. So if they don't read it, you can sometimes survive a turn just because they'll just attack into it or a battle phase attack. You're like, cool. Nothing happens. Anyway, let's go to my turn. Yeah. yeah. I've been um, guilty of that a few times when it first <laughs> came out. One Dracon Master of the Tenue. I, yep. I need a BLS link. That's it. This is why I'm running this. It, it can get me a pop um, with Monk and also with Avram Engrave, so it's not the worst. And also, I can't destroy a battle by an effect monster. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Ding was around, this would be pretty good. So yeah, that would be a BLS link. BLS link, yeah. Nice. One Spectrum Supreme. Underrated as heck. <laughs> Um, I like experiments anyway. Um, Some of this, if there's nothing in its column, it can attack directly. If there is no monsters, if it's not pointing to any monsters while it's in the extra monster zone, it cannot be targeted by card effect and also is unaffected by my opponent's card effects. Oh, nice. can't, can't destroyed by my opponent's card effects, sorry. Once again, if Ding wasn't around, this card would be really good. <laughs> so get rid of Ding and make oh. that become like, also, stupid. You can send a card that you control in its column to special and make like from deck in defense position. So you can always use that to get a Nightfall out to search again to get more damage on board. Nice. Unicorn. 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 Equimax, because you can do dirty things about Equimax. You can kaiju them and... Kaiju them, summon Equimax, have your Indigo Eclipse pointing underneath it, attack, do tons of damage, Eclipse, move it to another monster zone, attack directly with the, with the Eclipse as well. Yeah. As long as you don't move it to another zone, Equimax points to. Yeah. yeah. Or load. Seal, seal stuff. Uh, you won't need that to deal with Thunderboards anymore. No, I might be able to cut that actually. Mm. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll test around. Boral Sword, Boral Sword. Boral Sword, Boral Sword. Make that easily. Avramax, because it is a Mech Knight card, so it still works with keys and secrets to negate columns. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, well, I, I, again, I never thought of that. Like, yeah. I never realised again that it can, still has a Mech Knight card. Yeah. Tricks because it's a fusion target and it sets up a column, yeah. And ding because send is OP, and you can hard make that. And tokens, yeah. And tokens, is that a nib token? Two nibs and a gauze. Oh, I've got to play the gauze token. just in case. <laughs> um, side deck, yep. Uh, free Denku just screw back row, didn't face any back row all day. Never, never used this once. You're still going to keep it in with a new format, I assume? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's like paleo. Yeah, they're not actually mine, I need to train for them. <laughs> um, free troll. Not old um, <laughs> Not made money. Um, draw was too strong. Just, it's just a turn ender. You drop this, your opponent can't play anymore. Was this because um, of like striker? It wasn't because of striker. I don't really know why it's like this, but I played against six Sam's today. They activated um, smoke signal, added one, and like draw. Like, oh cool. Yours? <laughs> oh yeah. And then I okay. So draw's still a uh, pretty good card. Not uh, a lot of people playing it. <laughs> Underneath nightmare. Yes. <laughs> Puts in work. <laughs> Um, pay 1,000 line points to pop a face-up spell trap on the field. Mm -hmm. um, you can only use it once per chain. Um, when pendulums existed, i.e. not now, they just wouldn't get scaled if I had this out. Um, yep. You can chain it to your opponent's back row when they use it. So you say something like sub-terra final battle. Yep. Destroy it while it's face-up and then they can't reset it. Yep. So it's Draco just, as well. Pop floodgate. Draco. It's just a very Diagram. good all-round card. I haven't really signed it for anything in particular, but it keeps coming up. Yep. Free Imperm. Imperm. It's Imperm. And then, <laughs> and then free Get Out. I have been signing this in every round today, and I just haven't seen it. Yep. I'm assuming it's good. I don't know yet. What does it do? Do remind me of it again? Um, target two months of your opponent controls that were special on from the extra deck. Yep. Return them both to the extra deck. Nice. It sounds pretty. It's like compulse. It's, it's double compulse. 
um, which still is still kind of chainable. Obviously, with it being today, and they're still being awkward running around and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, do this at the end of their turn when they make like IP or something and yeah. Screw them over. But um, yeah, it hasn't actually come up because I never drew it. Um, and yeah, that, that that's that's everything. Yeah. How do you feel like the deck is moving forward for the new ban list? Will it become more playable? Will it be better? Um, it should stay fine for the new ban list. Um, if anything, if back row decks do become a thing, that just gives us more columns to run into, so it will make it slightly better. The only problem is that when the new master or revision kicks in, um, we lose our first turn play of covering two columns to stop the link summoning mechanic, which we'll have to figure out what we do from there. Nice. Anyway, yeah, this was Shannon with the Mechnot Dead Profile. Any questions, pop them in the comments below. I'll be sure to pop this guy those questions. Other than that, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.